Alan Etchett here with a quick little video on Link's Awakening DX, specifically the Japanese version 1.0. This is uh, involving the rooster skip and uh, super jumps. So, going into this, I'm going to assume you know what the rooster skip is and what super jumps are. You can only do the super jump on uh, version 1.0. I don't know if there's a 1.0 for any other version other than the Japanese cartridge, but I'm going to try to explain this. I recorded this before and I didn't explain it right, so I'm going to explain it a little bit better. What you're going to need is the rock's feather and uh, your sword. So you're going to want to clip into this wall up here, like so. We're going to push away from the wall that we're trying to jump to. We're trying to jump to the left, so we're pushing back against this wall. So I'm holding right, so it's pushing back. We can jump while doing this. So at the height of one of our jumps, we're going to switch from holding right to immediately holding left. And we should theoretically jump out of bounds. And I'll be able to scroll the screen to the left one, and then scroll the screen back to be clipped into the left wall and be able to super jump from the left wall to the right wall and be able to get that key without having to do that complicated hook shot uh, trick. So the hook shot trick is like pixel perfect, so this will help you get the bird key for level 7 early, assuming you have version 1.0 of the Japanese cartridge or 1.0 of if there's another version. But I'm going to try it now. I'm going to jump and at the, the peak of my jump immediately stop holding right and start holding left. And it works. Scroll back. You don't want to fall through that floor. So hold it back. So now we're holding left. So now at the peak of my jump, I'm going to start holding right. And I should super jump to the other side over there. See? It's easy peasy. Now I'm going to do it with no explanation, just in fluid motions. At the peak of your jump, hold the other direction. But we don't want to do it that way because it you got to turn around. You got to be facing the wall that you're trying to jump to. There we go. I turned around that time. One more time just to show you how easy it is. And then we can jump down. Grab the key. I think I explained it way better this time than I did last time, so most videos you see on this don't have commentary explanations, just text, and sometimes it's hard to know what really to do without verbal guidance, so hopefully this helped you. I'm Alan Edgehead, and I will see you later.